welcome to All Things Good. Today I'm going to be making probably one of the most exciting and powerful traditional healing remedies. Uh, this video follows on the garlic and ginger tea that I made uh, and it takes it to a whole new level. Um, let's start. We're going to use a clove of garlic, some ginger, some lemon, some raw organic honey, and traditional apple cider vinegar that's unpasteurized and raw. So this is a completely raw remedy and it's extremely strong. Um, one of the things with this is that you don't want to be taking this straight away. I recommend that you start by consuming the, the tea because it's a lot more gentle and then working your way up to the raw. The raw is far more powerful than, than consuming a cooked beverage. Plus, it contains um, more powerful uh, sulfur-containing nutrients. And the allicin, which is an enzyme that's in garlic, uh, doesn't get destroyed as much. You, you end up having a lot more in the tea. This remedy is particularly antiviral. Uh, it's antibacterial. Uh, it's also anti... It's been shown that it can retard... Um, cancer cells and even kill them, uh, especially in vitro. That means in test tubes and things like that. Okay, so let's get underway. First we're going to grate our garlic just like we did before. Now grating it or crushing it releases the allicin, which makes it far more active. Uh, we're going to be probably taking oof, about half, maybe a bit more than half. Uh, with the ginger, you can see that's a nice knob of ginger. Probably about twice as much ginger. Again, that's far more easy to consume than the uh, garlic. Okay, once you've grated that, that's the base of your recipe. Um, we're going to get our mug and we're going to add one teaspoon worth, or maybe a bit more, of raw organic honey. Now, you can do, do a Google on the benefits of raw organic honey, but it's also antibacterial and antiviral. Okay, and some raw, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. We're going to add a teaspoon of that as well. Let's take our lemon. Add about mm, a teaspoon of that, maybe a bit more. Perfect. Alright, we're just going to mix that up because I'd like the honey not to be so sticky on the bottom. So if you were to add just your um, garlic and ginger in now, it would form an emulsion, but I find it particularly hard uh, to drink because it's not very palatable. Uh, remember that we're drinking this for health reasons and not particularly for taste. So generally what I'll do is I'll add some water to it. Okay. So I generally make it into a half a cup. And I'll begin to sip that. Now, one of the things with um, you look at a lot of look at a lot of remedies online, and I just want to make this point: is that they often store it in the fridge, and they um, you know you consume it at different times. There's a lot of syrups and elixirs. I just want to recommend: do not do that. Always consume it fresh. The allicin and the um, the benefits of some of these micronutrients only last maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes. Um, and so you want to consume this fairly quickly. Uh, just sip on it. Uh, do not heat it. As soon as you heat it, it destroys it. Uh, so thank you very much. And if you like the video, click like, share or subscribe. Uh, recommend sending this to your friends if they don't know this remedy. It's really, really fantastic. If you're unwell, consume about three mugs of this a day. So about two cloves of garlic and probably um, the equivalent of about three cloves of ginger a day. Uh, that's really the protocol here and you want to build yourself up to consuming that amount. Thanks for watching.